comfortable white privileged thrones and scoff at the ancient and beloved tradition of the Middle East and Africa, the cradle of humanity, <laughs> okay? We're all Africans. That is female circumcision, okay? You white hipster scumbags. Not all of you, some of you are other stuff. There was that cool guy who was up here a second ago with the drunk driving stuff. He looked like, he looked like several things at once. <laughs> I lost, I lost my place. Uh, you white hipster scumbag. I really did write this down. You white hipster scumbags on your high fucking horses like to refer to this beautiful practice as female genital mutilation. I assume because you all grew up listening to Marilyn Manson school shooter music. Is that? <laughs> there was some knowing laughter there. <laughs> but in beautiful Africa, where people are still one with Mother Earth, and where bright colored dashikis, and everyone is a king, female circumcision is called Unga Bunga Dunga Dookie, <laughs> which in English means closer to God, who is a woman. Spoilers! <laughs> Spoiler alert! Where is this going? <laughs> Just on my phone. Fuck you! <laughs> so let me make a case for the practice of female circumcision using the only language English speakers and white males understand. And that's statistics. <laughs> A.K.A. hate facts. <laughs> If you, if you were to lay a map of the places where female circumcision occurs over a map of some of the worst places on earth to be a woman who doesn't want to get raped for smiling, you would have just the exact same map, but with slightly thicker lines. <laughs> Guy, there's a guy right there. You guys can't see him back there. There's this guy right here. He's loving this. <laughs> he's, he's into it. Uh, yeah, slightly thicker lines. Like, if this shit was a Venn diagram, it would be only one circle, and in the middle it would just say, fuck you. Okay? <laughs> so if you are so liberal like you think and hate rape as much as you claim you do, then why do you want to allow for the possibility that the women indigenous to these regions might accidentally enjoy being raped. <laughs> if they have clits, there's the chance that much like in the anime that many of you enjoy, the women would begin to feel arousal mid rape <laughs> The women would begin to feel arousal mid-rape, like some kind of fucked up Stockholm Syndrome. And you sick fucks jack off to that shit when it's cartoon Asian babes. Without a clitoris, there's much less chance for the women of the Middle East to be getting it Jodie Foster in the accused style, and then suddenly turn around to their attacker and call him Senpai. Anybody watch the anime? <laughs> In the Middle East, women are treated like property. I've heard a lot of people say they're treated like dogs, but I've seen those same people kiss their dogs on the mouth. I've never seen a Muslim couple kiss because I think it is impossible for them to do. And you may think that's a thinly veiled joke about burqas, but no. It's a heavily veiled joke. <laughs> because of the burp. Anyway, women are not... And I wrote anyway. Anyway, women are not property. They are strong, independent, don't need no man. I'm a single mom and my life is totally fine. Queens. 
welfare queens. <laughs> Our president, Donald Trump, was caught on tape saying he likes to grab women by the pussy. This is despicable. This is rape culture, and it is entering our side of the world, too. But listen, ladies, President Trump can't grab your pussies if there's nothing left to grab. When he finally institutes mandatory gynecological examinations to be personally performed on all women over the age of 11, starting with Ivanka, you are going to wish you had been circumcised. And let's not forget, fellas, what is the one thing we've all heard women complain when it comes to sex in every TV show, movie, and stand-up comedy. Oh my God, Amy Schumer is like so funny. Routine? They say men can never find the clit. Well, it will be a whole hell of a lot easier to find when we are put in charge of removing them at our daughter's births. The answer will be in a scrapbook. Scrapbook is the name of a new app my startup has developed that lets you share your family's milestone moments with your circle of friends. It's available now in the App Store and coming soon to Google Play. Thank you.